Hello, good morning everyone. How are you doing students? I hope you are doing great at your home. You are feeling uh, good at your home. So welcome to this channel again. That is a biology Shri. So today in this video, just I'm going to teach you about uh, the next topic from the second chapter of class 11. That is uh, the chapter name of that uh, topic is uh, biological classification that is a second chapter and uh, we have discussed in the previous video about the what are the biological classifications uh, systems so we discussed in the previous video and uh, we discussed about some kingdoms system of classification like two kingdom system classification three four five system of, system of classification and last we discussed about three domain system of classification okay so uh, we know very well about the classification system two three four five but as you know very well that we have got the syllabus reduced syllabus from the cbsc so just we have to ne uh, we need to know about only five kingdom system of classification okay so let's get started with the five kingdom system of classification as you know very well that uh, in this video we are going to discuss about five kingdom system of classification but uh, later we will discuss about kingdom monera that will be the first kingdom system that we will explain later but before going further just we need to know about five kingdom system of classification so what do you mean by five kingdom system of classification as the name suggests and in the previous video we talked about uh, four kingdom system of classification that was given by uh, Copland in 1956 and he uh, used four terms in this system of classification four system of classification uh, remember I'm talking about four system of classification because I want to uh, make you aware about the four kingdom system of classification okay so he used it monera protista planti and animalia these were four okay but in the five kingdom system of classification that was given by uh, robert h whitaker okay robert at which whitaker in 1969 you can see here uh, in this picture you can see here R. H. Whitaker, that means uh, Robert H. Whitaker. In the 1969, he proposed this five kingdom system of classification. And he uh, told us about the five kingdoms. First was uh, Monera, second was Protista, third one Fungi, and fourth one Planti and Animalia. And uh, because he uh, described a uh, five kingdom system of classification and naming them so uh, what were the characteristics that he used for this classification so what are the different different characteristics in these uh, five kingdoms so let me explain to you first that was complexity of cell structure this is a uh, first basic of this system of classification five uh, kingdom system of classification the first uh, characteristic was com uh, complexity of cell structure that means prokaryotic or eukaryotic uh, i think you know very well that what is prokaryotic cell and what is eukaryotic cell if you don't know then i'm telling you that prokaryotic means who the those cells which have uh, primitive nucleus primitive in the sense means old nucleus we can say more easily a uh, false nucleus okay false nucleus in the sense means uh, the structure that we cannot define so we can say the cell which can uh, which do not have a definite shape definite shape in the sense which ca we cannot define so prokaryotic cell those cells which uh, do not have uh, uh, definite shape or definite nucleus that means they have a, a false nucleus primitive nucleus but if talk about uh, we talk about the eukaryotic cell so that means those cells which have a definite shape a definite uh, 
nucleus and uh, having a uh, some organelles which have a uh, their membranes so we can say the eukaryotic cell have a membrane bound organelles but in prokaryote they are do not they are not okay membrane bound so this is the basic thing that you know already and you have discussed in the previous class so if talk about the second characteristics what was the second basic characteristics uh, that was uh, used by the R.H. Whitaker so that is complexity of organism body that means unicellular multicellular okay and you know very well about about the unicellular and multicellular unicellular means single cellular single cell organisms and uh, multicellular that means uh, those organisms who have uh, uh, more than one cell okay so that way multicellular organisms if we talk about the three base third basic number basic characteristic so that was a mode of nutrition mode of nutrition means uh, those organisms who come in a kingdom of system of classification or kingdom of classification so uh, those are photosynthetic or uh, in uh, absorption or ingestion it depends on the organism how they are taking their food so it depends we will discuss about uh, heterotrophic or uh, autotrophic photosynthetic so you know very well about photosynthetic or autotrophic or heterotrophic organisms okay so uh, now I'm talking about the first kingdom uh, that is a Monera kingdom so in this whole video just we are going to discuss about the first kingdom that is Monera this video we are going to discuss about Monera uh, so just ke andar hum, uh, primarily jo hamare prokaryotic cell aati hai sabhi ek single yahi kingdom aisa hai that is the first kingdom uh, which have a which have a, a prokaryotic cell only and we will discuss about the bacteria okay the bacteria bacteria ke bare mein hum isko discuss karna hai only bacteria jitne bhi hai wo sare monera mein aate hain all the bacteria just come to monera kingdom second that will be a protista where a uh, eukaryotic cell primarily unicellular forms will be there those organs which are unicellular which are eukaryotic organism will be uh, come to the protista third one is fungi you know i don't know what is the pronunciation correct pronunciation because uh, uh, i say fungi some say uh, like fungi so it depends on the pronunciation accent what you use so fungi, eukaryotic cell, multicellular, having a more than one cell, the organelle, so come to the fungi, heterotrophic organism, heterotrophic organism, remember what do you mean by heterotrophic, those organisms who depend on other organism for their nutrition, for their food, okay, and uh, planty, that is multicellular, photosynthetic and photosynthetic when it comes to the mind photosynthetic so that means the process where plants use uh, light for the formation of food okay and the last one is animalia where we are uh, living in the kingdom animalia so multicellular organism heterotrophic mode of nutrition ingest they ingest and other living organisms so there will be uh, different different nutrition habitats we will discuss later okay so this is a five kingdom system of classification proposed by rh whitaker in 1969 and that is uh, we are discussing here and uh, after the CBSC, uh, you know very well the CBSC had reduced the syllabus by 30%. So we, we have to discuss. We have to discuss five in the system of classification because it is in your syllabus. Now go to the second slide. That is because I told you that we have to study only Kingdom Monera. That is the first kingdom system. That is the first kingdom in this five kingdom system of classification. So we are just discussing about monera and when we talk about the monera so one term comes to the mind that is that is bacteria you know very well about bacteria 
okay so what are the characteristics of monera kingdom okay uh, this is the picture from your ncrt books just i have taken from there so if uh, you are getting properly so you can uh, learn this you can study this and if you don't understand about the this slide so you can go further with this slide monera okay what is monera so uh, just go to the first slide second slide and here you can see that we have to study monera kingdom and if when we talk about the monera kingdom so we will study about archaebacteria because we have further divided monera into the four subsystems sub kingdoms you can say subdivision uh, archaebacteria second one is a uh, eubacteria third one cyanobacteria and fourth one is mycoplasma so these four we have to discuss in this video now go to this uh, slide number four kingdom monera so when we talk about the monera so all the bacteria will be the sole member of this kingdom okay so jitne bhi bacteria hain wo sare kis mein aate hain monera ke andar they are most abundant microorganisms sabse zyada jo milte hain wo yahi hain so remember this bacteria occurs almost everywhere bacteria occurs almost everywhere everywhere in the sense that we can use the uh, another term like omnipresent we can use cosmopolitan so everywhere means har jagah ye milenge aapko even over your body also millions trillions wahan par milenge aapko hundreds of bacteria are present in the hand of soil if we talk about the different different varieties different different types of the bacteria so you can see you can you can find so many bacteria in your soil also remember we are talking about only soil if we go further so you can see everywhere bacteria everywhere you can see okay they also live in extreme habitat extreme habitat means salinity habitat where is the saline water is present we uh, if we talk about the temperature so 100 plus temperature centigrade if or we can say minus degree temperature so everywhere we discussed everywhere bacteria can be find everywhere okay so so such like that hot spring desert snow deep ocean and where few other life forms can survive where few other life forms can survive only kuch hi life forms hoti hain jo survive kar sakti hain in hostile condition we can say hostile condition or extreme conditions so there are so many bacteria which can survive in the hostile habitat conditions you know so uh, next line is many of them live in or other organism as a parasites we can say it is a mode of nutrition like if many of them live in or other organism that means parasitic bacteria and we have divided bacteria because uh, we are talking about the bacteria we are talking about the monera because bacteria are the sole member of the kingdom so we have divided the bacteria grouped under four categories on the basis of shape on the basis of shape we have divided bacteria into the different different categories those are cocci bacilli spirilla and vibrio these are four and when we talk about the cocci bacteria or cocci bacteria a uh, singular word is coccus so that is a round shaped if we talk about the bacillus that will be in rod shaped if we talk about uh vibrium that is a singular form uh, vibrio so it is a coma shaped vibrio is a coma shaped vibrium is a coma shaped okay and the last one is spirillum that will be in spiral shaped okay spiral shaped as the name suggest spiral you you have seen in a your in a your uh file when where you see the spiral binding so like look like that like this like this is a spiral 
bacteria okay so these are the four bacteria categories on the basis of their shape or yeah a easy slide where you can see where you can learn about the monera all members are prokaryotic and microscopic प्रोकैरियोटिक तो हैं क्योंकि हमने फाइकिन सिस्टम में क्लासेस जस्ट अर्लियर फ्यू सेकंड अगो वी हैव डिस्कस्ड कि प्रोकैरियोटिक होते हैं माइक्रोस्कोपिक होते हैं प्रोकैरियोटिक होते हैं तो क्या होता है वो प्रोकैरियोटिक सेल वो होती हैं जो कि जिनकी सेल के अंदर न्यूक्लियस कैसा होता है अनडिफाइंड किस जिसकी कोई शेप नहीं होती जिसको हम डिफाइन नहीं कर सकते दैट मीन्स कि वो न्यूक्लियस जिस चीज़ को हम डिफाइन भी नहीं कर पा रहे यानी ये न्यूक्लियस है या नहीं है सो वी कैन से वी कैन यूज अ डिफरेंट वर्ड्स different term for the nucleus that is nucleoid अगर हम monera की बात करते हैं bacteria की बात करते हैं तो वहाँ पर हम nucleus नहीं बोलते उसको क्या बोलते हैं nucleoid क्योंकि वो nucleus properly नहीं होता इसलिए हम use क्या कर रहे हैं nucleoid so prokaryotic कैसे sorry monera कैसे हैं prokaryotic cell हैं define membrane bound organism नहीं होते organelles नहीं होते microscopic होते हैं सभी को पता है microscope you we have to Use a microscope to see the uh, monerans, to see the bacteria. They are mostly single-celled, unicellular होते हैं और हो सकता है depends on the member of the bacteria कि colonies बनाकर यानी काफी सारे एक साथ मिलकर colonies या trichomes बना लें काफी structures बना लें okay? So अगर हम cell wall की बात करें क्योंकि uh, in this video at the last of the page we will discuss about uh, structure of the bacterial cell okay bacterium uh, here so we will discuss later but now we are studying monera so they have a rigid that means hard uh, cell wall that is non cellulosic that is not composed of not composed remember not composed of cellulose if we talk about the plant and the plant's uh, cell wall is made up of cellulose but here uh, bacteria's cell wall is not made up of cellulose so what is the material that is a cell having a cell wall is having a that is a polysaccharide but not a cellulose that is a polypeptidoglycan okay what was that peptidoglycan we can say pep pep t do glycan so uh, bacteria's cell wall is made up of peptidoglycan not cellulose okay so now we have divided monera into four groups first will be archibacteria second will be uh, eubacteria third will be mycoplasma and four will be cyano bacteria so this is the first archi bacteria so as we have talked about the about monerans so these bacteria are wait just we are going to uh, separate the bacteria archi archi word we have divided into two parts archi and bacteria and when archi comes to the mind archi means old ancient एंसियन टाइप ऑफ बैक्टीरिया ओल्ड टाइप ऑफ बैक्टीरिया प्रिमिटिव टाइप ऑफ बैक्टीरिया यानी सबसे पुराने जो बैक्टीरिया हैं वो थे आर्की बैक्टीरिया सो दैट मीन्स कि जो पुराने हैं सो उनकी सेल वॉल कैसी थी दे डो नॉट हैव द पेप्टिडोग्लाइकन दे डो नॉट हैव अ सेलोलोस ए सिंपल टाइप ऑफ सेल वॉल इज देयर ओके सो आर्की बैक्टीरिया मीन्स दीज बैक्टीरिया आर स्पेशल सिंस they live in the some most or harsh habitats such as extreme salty areas like halophiles hot spring like thermo acidophiles files and marshy areas like methano gems okay so we are talking about the archaea bacteria just i am again explaining you what is archaea bacteria the archaea bacteria are an ancient group of bacteria ancient that means the old group of the bacteria living in extreme environment <coughs> sorry uh, in extreme environment where other kinds of bacteria cannot survive ye purane bacteria ka ek group tha jisme uh, jo other type ke jo bacteria hote the wo 
इस कंडीशन में ऐसी जो हॉस्टाइल कंडीशंस होती थी जो खतरनाक कंडीशन होती जैसे ज़्यादा टेम्परेचर मिनिमम टेम्परेचर दैट मीन्स माइनस में टेम्परेचर या फिर सेलिनिटी वाला साल्टी एरिया वाला या फिर हो सकता है वो सल्फर जहाँ पर ज़्यादा पाई जाती है ऐसा कोई एरिया हो तो आ, उस एरिया में सभी बैक्टीरिया नहीं मिलते लेकिन आर की बैक्टीरिया ऐसी जगह पर भी मिल सकते थे तो ये होस्टाइल कंडीशन में मिलते हैं याद रखना होस्टाइल कंडीशन एक्सट्रीम कंडीशन ओके सो और ये भी कहा जाता है कि इट इज़ बिलीव दैट दीज एंसियंट मोरियंस इवॉल्व एट अ टाइम वेन एक्सट्रीम इन्वायरमेंट वर एक्चुअली टॉपिकल ऑफ कंडीशन थ्रू आउट द बायोस्फियर ओके सो ये एंसियन टाइप के आर के बैक्टीरिया हैं स्ट्रक्चर की मैंने बता दिया है द सेलवॉल इज मेड अप ऑफ डू नॉट सेलवॉल इज नॉट मेड अप ऑफ फेप्टिडोग्लाइकन ओके जो कि यूक्यो यू बैक्टीरिया में आपको देखने को मिलेगी सेलवॉल वो वाली टाइप की नहीं थी सिंपल टाइप की सेलवॉल थी ओके सो फिर हमने जस्ट नाउ वी हैव डिफ्रेंशिएट वी हैव डिवाइडेड आर की बैक्टीरिया इन टू थ्री इंटू थ्री ग्रुप्स फर्स्ट विल बी हेलोफाइल्स सेकेंड विल बी मिथानोजर्स एंड थर्ड विल बी थर्मो एसिडोफेल्स सो नाउ आई एम टेलिंग यू वॉट इज मिथानोजेंस मिथेनोजेंस मिथेनोजेंस आर प्रेजेंट इन द गट्स ऑफ सेवरल रूमिनेंट्स लाइक काओ बफेलो होर्स such as cows buffaloes and they are responsible for production of biogas means methane methane formula of methane is ch4 okay biogas from the dungs of dung of gobar jo the dung of these animals usse hame methane jo milti hai so ye bacteria hain kahan par milenge aapko kahan milenge इन ऑर्गेनिज्म की गट्स में गले में मिलेंगे जो कि यूज करते हैं जो फूड यूज करते हैं देन वो जो वेस्ट बनती है और वो बायोगैस बनाने में यूज होते हैं सो दीज आर मिथेनो जेंस ओके मिथेनो एज अ नेम सजेस्ट मिथेनो मीन्स दोस बैक्टीरिया हु आर प्रोड्यूसिंग मीथेन गैस नेक्स्ट वन इज नेक्स्ट वन इज हेलो फाइल्स हेलो फाइल्स मीन्स दीज आर के बैक्टीरिया आर फाइंड फाउंड इन द रीजन ऑफ हाई सेलिनिटी हाई सेलिनिटी वाला जो एरिया होते हैं जहाँ पर ज़्यादा सेलाइन वाटर होता है नमक ये चीज़ें ज़्यादा होती हैं तो वो होता है एरिया फॉर एग्जाम्पल अगर हम बात करें डेट सी इन द इसराइल वहाँ पर मिलते हैं ये ओके हाई साल्ट वाला जो ग्रेडियंट होता है वहाँ पर ज़्यादा पाया जाता है सो साल्टी सेलिनिटी होता है अगर हम बात करें एंड थर्ड वन थर्ड वन क्या है थर्मो एसिडो फिल्स सो थर्मो एसिडो फिल्स क्या होते हैं ये वो बैक्टीरिया हैं दीज बैक्टीरिया आर फाउंड इन सल्फर स्प्रिंग्स ओके कहाँ पर मिलते हैं सल्फर स्प्रिंग अगर हम एक एग्जाम्पल की बात करें सो so वो है सल्फरस uh, एक सल्फरस एरिया है विच इज फ्रॉम यू एस से जो कि है येल्लो स्टोन नेशनल पार्क येल्लो स्टोन नेशनल पार्क इट इज़ ए शॉर्ट फॉर्म ऑफ दैट सो ये वहाँ पर मिलेंगे आपको ओके सो नेचुरली इनका जो एनवायरमेंट होता है पाए जाते हैं ये सो दे आर अक्रिंग इन ऑल द नेचुरल हैबिटेट्स सो दीज वर द आर की बैक्टीरिया नाउ वी आर गोइंग फर्दर विद द दिस इज अ सिंपल स्लाइड यू कैन सी हेयर नाउ यू बैक्टीरिया नाउ नेक्स्ट विल बी यू bacteria and you uh, bacteria means you where whenever you find a uh, you which is adding with the uh, some word so you means true you means true that means actual real jo real tarike se hain jo truly bacteria hain wo hain you bacteria true bacteria so they are thousand of different u bacteria or true bacteria they are characterized by characterized by the presence of rigid cell wall rigid means hard cell wall and if motile if they are motile means they can move so they have a flagellum structure flagellum that is a tail like this like this 
tail like structure that is flagellum so it helps in the movement it helps in the movement that means motile so we can say the bacteria who uh, come to the come into the u bacteria so they can move if they have a flagellum the cyanobacteria cyanobacteria that means a blue green bacteria cyanobacteria means blue green bacteria and why we are saying this blue green bacteria because they have a chlorophyll because they have a phycocyanin because they have a phycocyanin that means a blue pigment okay and uh, why we are using blue and why we are using green blue that is a phycocyanin green that is a chlorophyll so that's why we are saying cyanobacteria okay blue green alga why we are using alga because uh, uh, cyanobacteria and phyco uh, because cyanobacteria are made up of uh, phycocyanin chlorophyll they have a chlorophyll pigment they have a phycocyanin and phycocyanin means phyco means uh, alga cyanin a means blue color blue bluish ओके सो ये ब्लू कलर के होते हैं ग्रीन कलर के होते हैं और एल्गा टाइप के होते हैं जैसे एल्गा होता है ना आपका नेक्स्ट वीडियो में हम डिस्कस करेंगे प्रोटिस्ट के बारे में एल्गा पढ़ेंगे तो वहाँ पर सॉरी प्रोटिस्ट में नहीं है प्लांटी में सॉरी प्लांटी में जब हम डिस्कस करेंगे एल्गा के बारे में सो वहाँ पर आपको पता चलेगा कि फाइकोसाइनिन क्या होता है एक पिगमेंट होता है जो कि मोस्टली ब्लू कलर का होता है और जो लाइट को अट्रैक्ट करता है और हेल्प करता है क्लोरोफिल की सो यू बैक्टीरिया कैसे हैं साइनो बैक्टीरिया आपको देखने को मिलेंगे फोटोसिंथेटिक टाइप के बैक्टीरिया आपको देखने को मिलेंगे जो कि ऑटोट्रॉफ होंगे क्योंकि फोटोसिंथेटिक ऐसे बैक्टीरिया जो कि फोटोसिंथेसिस करते हुए व्हाट डू मीन बाय फोटोसिंथेसिस दिस इज अ फॉर्मी दिस इज द मैथड वे हर प्लांट यूज मोस्टली प्लांट्स यूज दिस मैथड एंड वे दे मेक देयर फूड इन द प्रजेंस ऑफ सन लाइट इन द प्रजेंस ऑफ सी ओ टू एच टू एंड मेक देयर फूड ओके सो फोटोसिंथेटिक बैक्टीरिया भी होते हैं जो कि फोटोसिंथेसिस के प्रेजेंस में वो बनाते हैं तो वो कौन से हैं आपके फोटोसिंथेसिक बैक्टीरिया कौन से हैं वो ये साइनो बैक्टीरिया वो कैसे बैक्टीरिया होते हैं फोटोसिंथेटिक बैक्टीरिया एंड द साइनो बैक्टीरिया आर यूनिसेलुलर या वी नो वेरी वेल यूनिसेलुलर मे बी कॉलोनियल इफ दे आर स्ट्रेंग दे आर लिविंग इन द कॉलोनी सो कॉलोनियल और फिलामेंटस या दे हैव फिलामेंटस बॉडी लाइक दिस वन This is a filamentous body, marine or terrestrial. They can be found in the sea or they can be found in the land surface. So, marine or terrestrial alga, जो होते हैं, because we are talking about the photosynthetic bacteria, and the colonies are generally surrounded by gelatinous seed. Uh, you will see in the next slide. that is a nostoc structure that is a cyanobacteria photosynthetic bacteria that have a mucilaginous sheath and they have a heterocyst which is a special type of structure which helps in the nitrogen fixing a uh, nitrogen fixation okay so we discussed about the photosynthetic bacteria so they form foam bloom in polluted water bodies ब्लूम्स इन द पॉल्यूटेड वाटर बॉडीज दैट मीन्स कि वहाँ पर कुछ कॉलोनीज बन जाती हैं इकट्ठे हो जाती हैं तो वो कलर चेंज कर देते हैं वाटर बॉडीज का सो वी से दीज स्ट्रक्चर लाइक अ ब्लूम सम ऑफ दीज ऑर्गेनिज कैन फिक्स नाइट्रोजन फिक्सेशन दैट मीन्स फिक्स नाइट्रोजन इन टू द नाइट्रोजनस कंपाउंड विच इज़ अ स्पेशल टाइप स्ट्रक्चर वी हेयर नाइट्रोजन सिस्टम नाइट्रोजन फिक्सेशन सिस्टम नाइट्रोजन फिक्सिंग इज happening so that is a structure heterocyst you can see here wait that's a picture we are not getting okay this is the structure heterocyst where nitrogen fixing fixation is takes place okay and uh, example is nostoc anabina these are the bacteria which come in the u bacteria chemosynthetic autotrophic bacteria chemosynthetic means the formation of their food in the presence of chemicals these are those type of bacteria which makes their food in the presence of chemicals okay so like bacteria oxidize various inorganic substances 
such as nitrates, nitrites and ammonia and use the released energy for their ATP production. Okay. So ATP production wo karte hain, nitrates, nitrates, ammonia yi cheez banate hain aur apna food jo ATP chahi unko wo unse mil jati hai. So these are the chemisynthetic autotrophic bacteria. They play a great role in recycling nutrients like nitrogen, phosphorus, iron, iron and sulfur. In chizo mein bhi wo help karenge. Okay, so these are the host, uh, C chemosynthetic bacteria. This is the structure of nostoc. That is a filamentous bacteria. Okay, and the heterotrophic bacteria. What do you mean by heterotrophic bacteria? Means those bacteria who depend on other organisms for their nutrition, for their food, jo dusre ke present, uh, depend hoti hai food ke liye. The majority are important decomposers. Many of them have a significant impact on human affairs. They are helpful in the making curd, like curd, if just ki we use daily at, at their home. Uh, curd, to usme kya hoti hai? Bacteria is responsible for their uh, formation of the curd. And the name of the bacteria is lacto, lacto, bacillus. And why we are using bacillus? Because it have a rod shaped. Rod shaped bacteria are bacillus bacteria. So lacto bacillus is present in the curd. Production of antibiotics. So many bacteria are there which are uh, used in the antibiotics formation and fixing nitrogen in legumes legumes means pod plants uh, the plants which have a pod okay like uh, uh, like 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 mustard fallies jinko hum bolte hain so unki roots mein ye milenge aapko some are pathogens pathogens why we are using pathogens what do you mean by pathogens so pathogens means the organism which are disease causing jo disease karte hain unko hum bolte hain pathogens like to wo disease karte hain jaise ki cholera hota hai human beings mein typhoid tetanus agar hum plants ki baat kare to citrus canker ye kuch disease hote hain jo ki bacteria karte hain so we are using we are saying these bacteria like pathogens so these are the pathogenic bacteria heterotrophic bacteria and the next is this is the simple structure of bacterium bacterium means singular word is bacterium and plural word is bacteria bacterium singular hai, bacteria plural word hai. Ye ek cell hai, so ye, it is a dividing bacterium ye reproduction ho hai, ek cell se do cell ban rahi hai. that means ye dividing cell hai. okay so bacteria reproduce mainly ab agar hum reproduction ki baat kare kiske reproduction ki bacteria ke reproduction ki to wo, uh, काफी different different तरीके के reproductions होती हैं जैसे कि binary fission होता है uh, another is budding next one is uh, DNA based जो होते हैं जिसमें three type three type की discussions करेंगे हम कि conjugation uh, transduction and last is uh, transformations जो कि अभी फिलहाल आपके topic में नहीं है ये चीजें so bacteria कैसे reproduce करती हैं mainly by the binary fission sometimes under unfavorable conditions they produce by spores so spores formation is also uh, used in the reproduction process by the bacteria spores se bhi bacteria reproduce kar lete hain and the spatial structure that is a sexual reproduction because binary fission is a asexual reproduction which is used by the bacteria but now we are talking about the sexual reproduction uh, adopting by a primitive type of dna transferring from one bacterium to the another bacterium just few seconds ago i talked i told you uh, dna based structures dna based reproduction structures like transduction conjugation transformation so i am telling about the conj uh, conjugation what do you mean by the conjugation conjugation means exchange of genetic material by direct cell to cell contact in bacteria is known as conjugation means ek cell Dusri cell hai, to agar is cell ka genetic material is cell mein chala jai and that is ka is mein chala jai that means ki ek tarik ko hum ek donor bol rahe hai, ek recipient bol rahe hai to ye ek cell se cell mein jo humara bacteria ka jo uh, DNA ja raha hai, genetic material ja raha hai so that means ki isko hum bolte hai conjugation okay so hum isko discuss nahi karna kya ki topic mein it is not 
कमिंग इन योर टॉपिक सो ये था आपका बैक्टीरिया के रिप्रोडक्शन वाली प्रोसेस नाउ नेक्स्ट इट इज माइक्रोप्लाज्मा एंड व्हाट आर माइक्रोप्लाज्मास सो माइक्रोप्लाज्मास आर द ऑर्गेनिज्म दैट कंप्लीटली लैक ए सेल वॉल वो बैक्टीरिया जो कि सेल वॉल नहीं होती दैट मीन्स कि उनको माइक्रोप्लाज्मा बोलते हैं दे डो नॉट हैव अ सेल वॉल दे डो नॉट हैव सेल वॉल रिमेंबर वन थिंग दे डो नॉट हैव सेल वॉल सेल वॉल नहीं होती सिर्फ दैट मीन्स कि अगर किसी चीज़ में सोचिए अगर दिस इज द बैक्टीरियम सेल दीज आर द पिलाई सॉरी पिली दिस इज अ फ्लैजलम ओके सो सिंपल स्ट्रक्चर अगर ये इसकी अगर हमें सेल वॉल क्योंकि सेल मेम्ब्रेन होती हैं दिस इज अ सेल वॉल तो अगर ये ना हो अगर ये जो मैंने सेल वॉल बनाई है ये ना हो इफ दे आर नॉट हैविंग अ सेल वॉल दैट मीन्स तो ये फिर बैक्टीरिया नहीं होगा ये क्या हो जाएगा माइको plasma okay so they do not have the bacteria who uh, do not have a cell wall to unko bol denge mycoplasma simpler living organism it is the simplest form it is the simplest form of living organisms who can survive remember one thing without oxygen wo organism jo bina oxygen ke reh le simplest organism ho bina oxygen ke reh le wo hote hain mycoplasmas and many mycoplasmas are pathogenic and pathogenic means disease causing hote hain animals mein and plants mein okay so this is the simple structure we have discussed already mycoplasma prokaryotes hote hain sabhi ko pata hai lack of cell wall cell wall nahi hoti without oxygen ke reh lete hain and pathogenic hote hain disease causing hote hain plants mein aur usme and the last one is last one is cyanobacteria already we have discussed cyanobacteria are the bacteria which are photosynthetic autotroph they perform photosynthesis they can make their food their own self they are often form blooms polluted waters mein blooms bana lete hain colorful kar dete hain usko they have characters pigments phycocyanin just i talked i told you phycocyanin that means a blue phycocyanin means blue कलर का जो पिगमेंट होता है वो साइनिन जो होता है आपका आ, जो सॉरी फाइको फाइको जहाँ पर भी टर्म आती है सो फाइको इन दिस फाइको मीन्स फाइको फाइको मीन्स एल्गा फाइको मीन्स एल्गा साइनिन जो आता है वो ब्लू कलर के लिए आता है तो ब्लू ग्रीन एल्गा जो होते थे उनको हम साइनो बैक्टीरिया ही बोलते थे लाइक नॉस्टॉक ओके सो दिस इज द साइनो बैक्टीरिया एंड द this is the last slide of this video so it is the structure of the bacterial cell you can see here uh this is a nucleoid because it is not in definite shape we cannot define what is it so we are not using the nucleus term we can say we use the nucleoid term so it is a nucleoid ye nucleus nahi bolenge isko nucleoid bolenge okay uh, we know very well what is cytoplasm it is a liquid that is present in the cell wall inside the cell wall okay and the cytoplasmic membrane and if we talk about the these structure these structures these these are pili okay and what is the use of the pili so pili are used in at the time of the conjugation which is a sexual reproduction process so ye wahan par ja kar use hote hain jinka kaam hota hai attachment with the surfaces attachment with the cell cell ek bacteria dusre bacteria se attach hota hai to with the help of pili सो यहाँ पर उस होता है बाकी चलने के लिए अगर हम बात करें तो फ्लैजिला इज नॉट हेयर सो वी कैन ड्रॉ फ्लैजिलम दिस इज अ फ्लैजिलम फ्लैजिलम हेल्प्स इन मूवमेंट इफ बैक्टीरिया वांट्स टू गो बैक्टीरिया वांट टू गो समवेयर सो फ्लैजिलम विल हेल्प सो दिस इज द सिंपल स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ द बैक्टीरिया बिकॉज दिस इज अ प्रोकैरिटिक सेल दिस इज अ सिंगुलर सेलर सेल सो दिस इज द सो आई होप you will get uh, some topics uh, you would have uh, some topics in this video it is a simplest explanation given by me so thank you so much for watching this video i hope you liked it if you liked it then you can share you can like you can subscribe and you can suggest this video okay so thank you so much stay home stay safe